guys, welcome to another edition of Market Marauders. Beating the market, one trade at a time. Free the Market Marauders investment channel. Helps you find the best deals in the market. If there's something you're interested in, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button. All right, so I'm going to give you my option picks uh, for the week. So let's jump into it. Uh, first, make sure you go to the merch page in the description down below. Get you one of these shirts. Uh, have them down there in the description as well as add me on IG. I do answer questions on IG. Uh, so make sure you go add me on there. Uh, so the first one on my list this week for options is going to be ticker sign AMD for AMD. Moving average 10 is $86.78. Moving average 50 is $86.12. Moving average 100 is $84.50. Uh, so they ended today at $86.51. Looks like after hours they went up to 27 more cents to end at $86.78. Uh, so bullish as far as that's concerned, uh, denoted by the moving average 10 line being above the moving average 50, which is the purple and the moving average 100 line. So they are on a bullish uptrend um, and have significant volume supporting them. Uh, so going into some background information on AMD. Uh, so today they released an article uh, basically saying that they have four processors coming out uh, November 5th. Uh, now this is pretty big news um, as far as you know the company as a whole is concerned it's kind of their basis for how the company operates um, so four processors one being the Ryzen 9 5950X uh, the Ryzen 9 5900 uh, and the Ryzen 7 5800X and the Ryzen 5 5600X uh, these are all different prices uh, with the 5600X being the cheapest option, uh, but definitely, you know, big upgrades uh, as far as uh, the technology for the company. I think their CEO, Lisa C, was doing a fantastic job with the company, um, and they're continuing to grow as time goes on. Uh, so with that being said, I think that uh, a bullish position would be the best position uh, for this stock, I believe that they're going to continue to grow as time goes on. Uh, going to use a January 15th strike price uh, for this option. Um, and since their moving average, I mean, since their 52 week uh, high is $94, uh, I think, you know, going into the price range uh, between 95 to 87 uh, is definitely a good uh, strike price for this option. Uh, now, I think a call is the best option. I think the stock's going to continue to go up. Uh, definitely has more growth potential, especially considering that they announced their processors today. Um, so that hasn't taken an effect. I think it continue to grow, uh, especially considering uh, the levels being so close to that of their 52-week high. So if you look on here uh, today, uh, you're going to be looking to pay between $755 per option contract uh, to $1,025 per option contract with the expiration of January 15th. So just bear that in mind, uh, that's the price uh, based off the market being closed. Um, so just bear that in mind. Uh, going to the next stock on the watch list, we've got ticker sign AAL for American Airlines. Moving average 10 is $13.06. Moving average 50 is $13.09. And the moving average 100 is $12.81. Uh, if we look, they are on a bearish downtrend, uh, even though it looks like it's just going sideways. Uh, the moving average 10 line has dipped below the moving average 50 and the moving average 100 line. Uh, so I would say that they're beginning a bearish trend, but tomorrow they may open up and bounce back. Uh, it looks like they're starting to begin to curl up, depending, uh, going based off of these um candlestick patterns so i think it does have potential to go back but i'm going to say it's bearish uh just because the moving average 10 line started to dip below uh this moving average 50 line uh, so going to some background information on them you know just going to read some highlights from their press releases uh travel alert uh expect to uh hit due to the hurricane uh the gulf coast so they're going to have some flight delays uh they announced uh, a new board of directors which is douglas m steenland um they announced uh, their third quarter financial results are coming up um, and then more updates about the hurricane and flight delays. And so how that's going to impact um, flight patterns based off the hurricane. Uh, so having new board members um, is always, you know, a big move for any company. Uh, board members definitely help shape the company. Uh, I'm not really familiar with his background, uh, but I think it's a pretty big move for the company. Uh, and definitely interested to see uh, what things he adds to the company to help shape them uh, in the future. Uh, so going into uh, the option side of them, uh, I think a call is probably the best option 
uh, for American Airlines. So we're going to type in ticker sign AL on the options end. Uh, and also, if you'd like to sign up for Webull, um, get two free stocks when you deposit $100 or more, make sure uh, you check out my link down in the description below. Uh, so that is where the perspective uh, from today's video is from, the Webull app. So since they're moving average, uh, where a 52-week uh, high is $31.67, um, I think that's very high, especially considering uh, what's going on. I wouldn't put it past the company to get to that that price uh, but definitely you know with everything going on uh, I think what will definitely boost this would be uh, the stimulus so um, a price point uh, that I would say for a call because I do believe this is bullish and I do believe the stimulus will definitely add a lot you know a big boost to this I think between 14 uh, to $18 um, is a good option. So you'll be looking to pay between $193 per contract to $86 per contract. So going to the next one, uh, we got ticker sign BABA for Alibaba. Moving average 10 on them is $301.21. Moving average 50 is $294.95. And moving average 100 is $291.44. They ended the day today at $300.54. After hours, they went up $1.96 to end at $302.50. Uh, they are on a bullish uptrend, denoted by the moving average 10 line, being above moving average 50 and moving average 100, uh, which is the purple and yellow line. Uh, it looks like they've been moving up quite a bit uh, as time has gone on. So, going to some background information on them. Uh, just going to read some of their press release highlights. They have Investor Day coming up. Um, then they have uh, Alibaba Cloud digitalizes sports events uh, with more AI solutions. Uh, debuts uh, cloud computer delivery, delivery robots and cloud computing conference. Uh, so, a lot of innovation uh, and, you know, groundbreaking events going off for the company. Um, if you're not familiar with Alibaba is... It's sort of like the uh, Chinese version of Amazon. So it's a very huge company. Uh, a lot of drop shippers use it, but they sell just about everything um, on Alibaba. Uh, so, you know, I'd advise you to check it out before investing uh, into the company. But they sell a wide array of devices, like basically anything you could think of, they sell. Uh, so with that being said, uh, going to the option side uh, for Alibaba, we're going to type in ticker sign BABA. Uh, for Alibaba, we're going to stick with the expiration uh, date of January 15th. Uh, and since they're moving average, I mean, their 52 week uh, high is 302.30, and they're already uh, at 302.50 uh, where they ended. Uh, they basically have gone past their 52 week high. So, uh, with that being said, I think you know there's a catalyst for it to continue to go up even further. Um, so the variance of range, um, you know, for this option, I think if you go to around 340, uh, to 370, uh, be a more realistic price. Um, and it'll also be cheaper for you, uh, on the option side. So you're paying $1,040, $1,140 per contract to $440, uh, per contract. Uh, so that's 330 to 380. Also bear in mind, this is, uh, when the market is closed. Um, so yeah, just bear that in mind, uh, when looking at the options, um, so 440 is not too bad, uh, looking at, uh, the 330 price, uh, I mean, looking at 340 price, 1,140 is not that bad either. Uh, so going to the next one uh, that I have on options watch, options watch list, uh, is going to be ticker sign FB and that is for Facebook. Moving average 10 on them is $263.36. Moving average 50 is $261.46, and the moving average 100 is $262.37. Uh, so they ended the day uh, today at $263.76. Uh, after hours, they went to $246.48, uh, so up 72 cents from where they ended. They're on a bullish uptrend, denoted by the, this uh, red line, the moving average 10, being above moving average 50 and the moving average 100 line. Uh, so that's good. Going to some background information on them. Uh, it says press release Facebook uh, to acquire Oculus um, VR. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Facebook to acquire WhatsApp. You know, 
and Facebook and Microsoft announce a patent agreement. Um, Facebook announces proposed follow-on offering. Uh, so a lot of moves being made on Facebook overall. Oculus uh, Virtual Reality is a pretty big company, and WhatsApp, you know, is pretty big itself as well. Uh, so definitely interested to see how those two things uh, will help shape the company in the future. Uh, but always a lot of positive moves going on for Facebook. Uh, so with that being said, uh, going into the options side, uh, we're going to type in ticker sign FB uh, for Facebook. I think they have strong growth potential uh, for the future. So I'm going to go to my expiration of January 15th. Um, and since their 52-week high um, is 304.67, um, and they're currently at 263. They have quite a ways to go uh, to get there, uh, but I don't think it's like unrealistic for them to get uh, to that 304 price. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna say from 270 uh, all the way down to 290. I think it's a realistic price. Now, since Facebook is so popular, uh, these are gonna be a little more pricey than the other ones. Uh, so you're gonna be looking to pay between $2,140 uh, to $1,380 per contract. So just bear that in mind. Uh, if you're interested in some of the cheaper ones, you know, just look at the cheaper ones. Everyone's price uh, and account is different. So, you know, for those who can afford it, uh, you know, uh, I would say, you know, just keep your eyes on this, put it on your watch list, see how it performs as time goes on. Uh, but if you can't, you know, there are some cheaper options, uh, which were shown earlier in the video. Uh, so going to my last one that I have on here is ticker sign BA. That's for Boeing. Uh, moving average 10 is $166.39. Moving average 50 is $166.95. Moving average 100 is $166.84. They ended the day at $168 even. And then after hours went up 80 more cents to end at $168.80. So going to some background information on Boeing. Just going to read some of the highlights as well from their press releases. Uh, it says Boeing to showcase low Earth orbit to deep space. Uh, portfolio in International Astronautical Congress. Boeing built Space Force Satellite Passes during review. Uh, then they're going to release their third quarter results on the 28th. Uh, and then it says Boeing Astronaut uh, Passes Starliner Torch to Veteran NASA Astronaut. Uh, so this 28th date is something to keep in mind, uh, especially considering, you know, they're doing things for Space Force. Uh, so they're going to highlight basically all the contracts that they're doing at the current moment, as well as some good financial information. Uh, if you're not familiar with Boeing, they, they were kind of struggling before, um, you know, the whole first stimulus came out. I know Boeing got, you know, quite a bit of money from that stimulus and kind of basically got put back on their feet from, you know, that stimulus. Uh, but then also, you know, they're getting these contracts coming in uh, as space and the space programs are beginning to ramp up. Uh, so they're definitely able to take advantage from that. Um, so with that being said, uh, going to the option side for Boeing, uh, we're going to type in ticker sign BA. I think a call is the best option just because, you know, all the stuff they're doing in the space field with big government contracts and their earnings coming out the 28th. I think they're going to beat people's expectations uh, with how far um, they have progressed. So their 52 week average, uh, 52 week high is $378 and 70 cents. Uh, so we're not going to put it up that high. Uh, definitely going to wait to see how earnings uh, responds. But I think if you go between 170 uh, to 200 is a good range uh, and a more realistic price with the expiration of the 21st um, that this can actually reach, especially considering, uh, you know, it's going to rally getting closer to its earnings on the 28th. So you'll be looking to pay between $1,915 per contract to $955 per contract. All right, hope this video helped you all. Uh, make sure you drop a comment down below. Tell me which stocks you guys are looking at for this week in options. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up to help the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.